well, good morning. It's a lovely sunny day in Central. Uh, what is it, 10 o'clock? We've mm -hmm. just left uh, Ettrick, uh, just come south, well, we're heading south. Uh, just going to come down to Miller's Flat. We're going to cross over that there river, being the Clutha, and we're going to follow the river on the other side all the way back up to uh, the Roxburgh Dam. Mm. That's uh, that's the first part of the plan for today. That's about as far as it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it'll be a nice leisurely day today. Nothing too strenuous. We are still toying with the idea of heading up towards Thompson's track and over into Terrace. So we'll see how the day goes for us. Heading north. <laughs> Two up. New Zealand series number three. bikers around this part of the world too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh this is the Clutha Gold Trail. Yes. That's what that Millennium thingy was part of. Yep. There's even a little rapids in there. Yeah. Such a cool river eh? Yeah. probably the biggest river we have, eh? Like the amount of flow that's on it all the time. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know how the, well, for, for Southland Otago, yes. Yeah. And then you, yeah. Um, and the fact that it's dammed at Clyde and then at Roxburgh. Yeah. Uh, very cool that you can cross it again at Belclutha. Yep. You know, it's sort of still almost as big a river down here yeah. as what it is up here. Yeah. There we are. That's what we've come to have a look at. Pinder's Pond. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's pretty. Pretty nice, eh? John Ewing secured an interest-free loan from the mines department and established the Teviot Molyneux Gold Mining Company to dig down at this bend. Huh. 1918, 23 metres deep. And they didn't find the riverbed or get very little pay dirt. <laughs> so 1922, oh, he passed away and they abandoned the mining and the water rights and the assets were acquired for the Teviot Irrigation Scream. Um, Pinder family once owned the land and their name is stuck even though it was John Ewing that actually dug it so it's become Pinder's Pond <laughs> Can you 
ride right around it? I have no idea. <laughs> we're about, <coughs> we're about, we're about, about to find out. We are about to find out. That's all she's got. Been out over all the orchards and come around the corner, here's the dam. At least you get to drive across the dam. Yes, we'll get to drive across the dam. A couple of them here that you can. Twenty thousand volts. Oh, but pretty cool that you can pretty much see where it's coming from. Yep. The start point of electricity, right here. <laughs> <laughs> She's a bit blustery up on the tops oh, here. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> a bit white cappy. Well sheltered. Good look back down into the substation, down the valley. Magical day in central Otago. A oh. little bit windy, but it's all right. So clear. Somebody wants a photo. Well, I've seen these cliffs a couple of times now. I've been trying to work out how we can get to them to take a photo. I actually think it'll be prettier from back there, but I'll do one here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rabbits look everywhere. At all. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're in central when. Oh, what a stunning little piece of river. Just a nice cliff formation. Just making our way into, <coughs> excuse me, into the lower Manaburn Dam. Not quite as far as the upper Manaburn, which we <laughs> did on the last trip. Not a bad little road. Is it? The gate opener is a fan of the cattle grids. <laughs> yeah, worth a visit. 
Now, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure this is where the motocross track used to be. Oh, right. Yeah. I think. You'll actually see the dam. <laughs> I guess we're going here. down. <laughs> oh, there's a little, little history. I just want a picture. Uh, just a perfect waterfall over the edge of it, eh? Mm. All right, so we're going to head up the road to. Uh, Omicow next. Another little highway section. Yep. But it's not a bad road, is it? Nah. Welcome to Omicow. That was a little blustery. It was a little blustery coming up the road. Bit of sideways action. Well come away from Omacow, come up the road. I wasn't going to put the camera on coming up there because it was windy and blustery as all hell. And uh, just come onto the gravel track. And uh, this one's been a long time coming. Oh, I've put it off so long. <laughs> I've come up with many reasons not to do it. <laughs> last time it was snow. Yeah, there was a bit of snow up through the top of here last time we were past. Yep. So, uh, yes, this is Thompson's track. And, uh, oh. Looks like we've got the first gate already. <laughs> uh. One of many. Uh. Get the gate counter ready. Oh. At least we're sort of tucked it out of the wind up. Oh, it's nice. The foot of the nice. hills here, it's nice, yeah. yeah. This is not a fun gate. You want to rate these gates out of one to ten or? <laughs> yeah, well, this is about a five. About a five? Yeah, it slides <laughs> slides easily but the latch is a little bit dicky. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We'll do a gate report and send it back to the farmer, shall we? <laughs> Alright. Enough sass out of you. So we're heading obviously from Omacow through to uh, through to Taras. Uh, I did the opposite direction, uh, I don't know, four years ago. Um, so yeah, nice ride through here. You gonna run out of batteries before I run out of gates? <laughs> yeah, we might need a couple of battery changes today with all the start and stop on the gates. Woo! Self recovery required. Well, About. we do have our trusty Montana 750i, it has satellite subscription on it and uh, I have actually messaged somebody and let them know that we're coming in here now, so they know where we are, <laughs> if we don't happen to come out. Also a five. <laughs> Better latch, crappy gate. Boundary gates are normally pretty good. Boundary gates are normally pretty good. That one just had a little bit of a sag in it. Well, I guess we sort of start to make the climb up now. Is this another two or a three? I think this is only a two. Yeah. I was just getting the feeling from this already, apart from the fact it's steep. 
pretty good condition. Pretty smooth track, yeah. Go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> he knocked himself out. <laughs> just about. Uh, just run straight into the brick wall. There's another one up there. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, cyclist. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the action. All the action. rabbits on the hillsides till today. No. Come on sheep. Down. Yeah. Yeah, these gates are tricky if you're by yourself, eh? Hey? Try and park your bike somewhere and then get off and just drop the bike off the side and yeah. go pick it up again. Oh, this is a solid eight. A solid eight. A solid eight. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing that lets it down is the Are you slope. right there or do you want to go the other side? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hang on for that one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Short legs. to stop and talk to that bloke. Yeah, it's not the <laughs> ideal place. No, it wasn't the ideal place at all. If he'd have been 10 seconds sooner, he would have had the gate open for him. Well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky. Uh, sorry. No. Nope. <laughs> mm. I'll tell you, that's a local. <laughs> Uh, Did he have a gun on his back? Yep. There were signs about hunting, but I guess yeah. you use this track to get into go higher, go rabbit shooting, I guess. Yeah. I assume there's still a bit of that goes on. Rabbit shooting. As far as like pest control and stuff. I guess so, yeah. That is stunning. Nice, isn't it? Oh, wow. I actually wasn't expecting it to be like this. And I've watched all the videos. Yeah, yeah she knew exactly what she was coming for. Yeah, I did not. Well, I didn't because that... Wow. You just keep watching the track. I'll enjoy the view. Okay. <laughs> so you don't climb up very high, really. No, we're 780-ish. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I probably won't get a whole lot higher. I was think. looking at that with where the track sort of seems to go. Oh, you can actually see the stream. 